you so much for coming and thank you at home for watching. It's the Christian View where we take today's hot topics. We weigh it against the Word of God because God does have a view. Um, growing up in the 60s, I would rush home from school every day to watch Dark Shadows. Now, I don't know how many of you remember Dark Shadows. Uh, remember, remember Dark, Dark Shadows? Shadows? It was like a continuous soap opera, but it was scary. And Barnabas Collins mm -hmm. was the vampire, yes. you know, and he would sleep through the day in his coffin and he would come out at <laughs> night. And if yes. you put a cross in front of him, he just couldn't look at it. Yes. What was it? I don't know, Jackie, but it? I sit here and I'm thinking about this. When we, we started with this topic, I thought, gosh, I know nothing thing about vampires and I thought about Barnabas Collins and I was probably four or five years old and I'm, yes. I'm not that much younger than you guys so but I don't I didn't have that I think the scariest movie that I watched was the Wizard of Oz you know when I was that age so, oh, <laughs> so I, was a little, I was a little more protected in that, you know, in that realm but you know we got into the 70s and the 80s and I watched a couple of those episodes of uh, Dark Shadows, and it yeah. really was pretty mild compared to the horror things that we've gotten. We got oh, into yeah. in the 70s and 80s, and moving forward. I don't know if it was more the actual Barnabas Collins and the vampires that scared me worse than it was the music. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, during the right. television yeah. show. I was right there to support it. Yeah. It was the idea of uh, vampires really kind of started young. If any of you watch Sesame Street, uh, you yeah, remember uh, Count, I think his name Count was. Count Dracula. Dracula. Yeah. Yes. I remember Count. So a, vamp a vampire a taught us how to count. How about yeah. that? Not good. We shifted from the evil things being Barnabas Collins and all that to Freddy Krueger and But it was all gradual, Dawn. It's been gradual yeah. because even after Dark Shadows and on up through even the, the early 70s to mid 70s, you had the Betty Davis movies. Remember yes. Betty Davis? Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Don't Betty go Davis. Upstairs. Don't go upstairs, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Baby Jane. Yeah, yeah but late Twilight 70s, Zone. you're Twilight right. Zone was okay, one. Twilight Zone I loved. But yes. getting into the <laughs> Freddy Kruegers and the Chucky and. Those are uh, the slasher movies. The slasher yeah. movies mm -hmm. and the paranormal started coming and after yeah. that really is kind of, it's you know, it's just harmless. creepy. <laughs> it's yeah. not harmless because when I was in college, I went to see, I think it was Nightmare on Elm Street or one of those oh Freddy Krueger movies. Yeah. Right. And Friday I'm 13. telling you, for months, every time I went in to take a shower, I pulled the shower <laughs> curtain <laughs> back to make sure nobody the was in there. The shower I mean, the psycho. Right. Remember Psycho? Yeah. Yeah. Remember Psycho? Yeah. Yeah. The shower scene? Yeah. That's hilarious. That was movie the first really <laughs> scary one I remember. Scary. Well, what you know, about it, it? it started young, I think, for us because you remember the Munsters were on in the oh, afternoon. Yeah, Adam's family. Family. And Adam's yeah. family and Bewitched. Now I love Bewitched. They, the uh, yeah. they were like horrific type shows. Right. I think it, it really was more, you. you know, the shows that we were watching. I think they gave us a certain thrill, yeah. you know, yeah. the spontaneity, you know, like the fear factor. We wanted to be, you know, scared. We went to haunted houses as yeah. kids because we wanted to be afraid. But then when we got into movies like Amityville Horror and oh, Holder yeah. Guys, to me, that was taking a step too far. So do you think Hollywood, Hollywood looks at it like okay we've got this we've got to give them a little bit more we've got this we got to give them a little bit more yeah. Well, we've given them everything now, so I don't know what else they could possibly do. Jackie, oh, not even TV. just Hollywood, yeah. <laughs> even the games that children play, That's they've right. gotten mm -hmm. so violent where they actually slash heads mm -hmm. off yeah. and they Same actually blood. commit murder. Mm -hmm. and it desensitizes. So it desensitizes. Yes. You know, I think the Barnabas Collins wasn't, you know, that bad, but yeah. because it just made us a little scared. But now they're actually committing the murders or the, you're watching somebody and they've made it so real, mm -hmm. and you're watching that. Who would want and to watch that? And how many have, have actually gone out, <clears throat> committed the crimes, and blame it on a video game? You know, and I think true. they don't. We don't take, I think, in our society today, enough attention to that, in all honesty. I mean, we can say it's harmless. My boys played video games, and they played the fighting video games. So, I mean, you just have to wonder. But there are children out there that it does impact Makes and it does impression. change. But what is it about that? Did your boys that, play that, those games? No, not really. They have one that's a war. That, well, they have a war, one of those war games. And one day I came in, I was watching them play, and that you could actually see blood. And I said, oh, no way, we're taking that back. And they said, but Mama, <laughs> Mama, you can turn the blood off. I was going to say, you got to protect your television oh, back to you. Yeah. So but, they can you know, turn that off. Yeah, but you know, even oh. like horror movies have such, make such an impression on kids. You think about Halloween and Friday mm -hmm. the 13th, and kids even today dress up. They'll buy that Freddy Cruz 
Kruger mask or right. whatever, and that's what the they vampires. wear. The vampires. Yeah. And some wear of it, it is all in fun, but mm -hmm. I think what I learned in studying about the vampires, I couldn't believe that there was a vampire society here yes, in Atlanta. Exactly. Yes. That oh, kind of, you know, when uh, it crosses over. Right. Oh, when it crosses over into that. Don't you think that, that gothic look is trending more toward the dark side of. Mm -hmm. It's the dark side. Yeah, I don't care is. how you look at it. Yeah. Sorry, it's the dark side. Yeah. You know, and I've, I've heard growing up, if you go into these theaters mm -hmm. and you sit there and you watch the gory stuff coming, mm -hmm. you're opening your mind up to Satan. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I've always heard that. You're opening your mind up to the mm -hmm. demons and the demonic world. Right. Right. Garbage in, garbage out. Right. Garbage and people are in, often right. drawn more to the dark than to the light. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's just our society, and that Satan plays mm -hmm. a great role in that. And I think, we, like I said, we don't take that into account enough. Yeah. Um, I mean, we can sit here and make light of it, and I would like to say, you know, it's not that big a deal unless you've got a child who Halloween is susceptible is okay to that. To dress up as witches and vampires and our. That's okay, me personally. Show, isn't it? Yeah. 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 But me personally, I would say, you know, I don't like celebrating Halloween. I don't either. Wow. I really don't like celebrating Halloween mm -hmm. because it really is celebrating, you know, Nothing satanic dark. rituals. Yeah. I mean, well, again, for me, it wasn't of it. necessarily, you know, like into the vampires for the gore, but I was more into the movies, more the horror movies for just that sensation mm -hmm. that you go for. Mm -hmm. You know, that you want to go to the scared. movie, yeah, to be afraid well, at that, that moment. We live that's why do we need that? Why do we need that?